So hello everyone and welcome back to the BMSC coverage. We are just about to start round 22 and we will have the game between Piotr Andronovsky and Lewis Mackay and the players are ready to start so I will leave you in the capable hands and brain of Callum. Hello again, back for the uh, final four rounds of BMSC. Just waiting for a picture to appear. We've got Lewis Mackay and Piotr Andronowski playing number one and number two. Lewis is a game clear at the top. So if Piotr wins this, they'll be on the same number of wins. And Piotr's rack is RRI. B double O T. Um, doubtful of a bonus play here. I'd probably be looking to play off the B and both the O's, I think, and and an R. So there is a play for that. It's B double O R. Um, that would be the play, I think. It does leave a a, a place for the Z to be played, um, but at this stage of the game, um, you'd, be, you'd be unlucky for your opponent to have the uh, Z. Of course, actually, just seeing another move there, uh, B R double O would not expose uh, a double letter to a Z play, um, depending on where you play it. If you played the B on the centre square. Uh, that would not expose the uh, would not expose the double letter to a to a Z play. Orbit is a possibility for sixteen. That's the highest score. I think Orbit has been played. Um, I'm, I'm, I'd rather have taken. Uh, I think I'd have played B R double O there, um, and left the rack of R I T. I'd have sacrificed four points to keep a, a stronger leave there. I think. Lewis has the Q, he's got a U with it. Um, he has got WAQF, W A Q F, if he wants to keep his U, uh, which he might not, if he, he might want to use that in conjunction with the Q. But WAQF looks quite reasonable from 9E. It would score 34. 41 for whack if you are oh, mr hook there if you play whack on the end of orbit you get whack orbiter and whack for 41 coif is a possibility as well from k5 down um, yeah it's a nice hook on the end of, of, of orbit orbiter So Coif looks to be the play from uh, Lewis there. Piotr now has um, a rack containing a blank, but it also contains a lot of vowels. And I think it'll be very difficult to bonus with that rack. Um, consulting is but there are no seven letter plays and there are no eight letter plays with that rank uh, no no nothing possible um i would be looking to get rid of either ee -E or oe probably playing on the board you could change here um but i, I j7 down o through the b that's already there uh, might be a play um, duplicate letters are never good. So keeping two E's, but keep, keeping two E's is probably the best, one of the best duplicate leaves you can you can give yourself. Um, I think I E E R blank would be unlucky not to get not to not to result in a bonus next time. Of course, you could just pick up the same again. You could pick up another O and an E. Um, J seven down O for me, I think, on this rack. There's a possibility of Bore, 
uh, J8 down, leaving IE blank. Um, that's that's reasonable as well. I'm looking at, at Lewis's rack as well. Can't see a bonus on that one, but it, it looks not it's not too bad. Oh, he's played across the top of orbit. Uh, Lewis does not have a playable bonus with his rack. Just looking at what he might do with it. Yeah, um, not an easy one here. FAW maybe from nine. I have a strong lead with that. It's one of these where he's, he's got a nice rack. He's not going to perhaps want to, to to split it up too much, um, but he will be looking to score as well. He may not be happy with, with just 15 points for FAW. Coiffed is a possibility. Um, leaving LAWI and that's probably the best place. 40 points. Um, so it's probably worth playing. But it looks like we might have gone down for 25, which is a better leave than Coiffed. Um, looking at Piotr's rack now, he should have something, I think. Um, I've got a word in my head. I'm just going to check the availability of it. Reek here, I think. Possibly of Rikia there with that rack. Um, possibly Kerry's. Yep, Kerry's is there too. So, and these these will play on the end of double O. And on the end of Coif, in fact, yes. Yeah, so, uh, so Kerry's has gone down on the end of Coif for 81 points. Um, Lewis should be coming down with Reloader, I would think. So that's okay. Yep. Lewis should be coming down with Reloader any minute now, I think. Or, oh, sorry, reloaded. I've, I've misread his rack. I, mis I thought Lewis had two R's there. He's in fact got two D's. So reloaded should be coming down quite soon, I think. Piotr, in the meantime, has picked up the X. He's got a couple of L's with it. Uh, he's... Not going to be bonusing next time, I don't think. Um, but he, he may well score with the X. Uh, Lewis is taking some time here. I'm expecting Reloaded to be played. Just a note from Jessica there saying that he has seen it. And it is going down now. So, a bonus each. Uh, Piotr 105, Lewis 121. It's a close game so far, and we've, we haven't had many of those.
Uh, something like Lax for Piotta here, maybe from M7 down, using that orbit hook 27 um, is a possibility. Um, there's Axilla just looking now from um, 8A, which would be 42. Um, so those look pretty pretty decent plays. Uh, there's Nix at M5, looking at these uh, Quackle options now. I think Axilla's pretty good, leaving CN. Scores 42. It's the highest scoring move. It's not a bad leave. It gets rid of the of the double L. I'm not personally a fan of L's. I, I, I find they get in the, if you get two of them, they can get in the way. If you can get three of them, they very much get in the way. So we are back to Lewis now, who has the Z. Um, he doesn't have a have a bonus rack here. He's going to look to score the Z probably. Um, I can see Vizy V I Z Y from C seven down. Um, that would leave him with unit on his rack, which is not an unreasonable leave. Um, though there are more use to come. Um, Um, he's got a wire which could go on the end of orbit. You can have orbit -y. Um But I'm not seeing how he can use the Z there. I think Visey. Visey is what's jumping out at me. There may be something else there. Yutz is the play from 3J. Scoring 39. And um, Piotr's got exaction, that's gone down very quickly. His rack was anoetic and aconite. Um, exaction has gone down fairly fast there. I was still busy looking at what Lewis's play scored. Um, and Lewis, his rack has deteriorated somewhat. Um, Yutz was probably the right play over Visey. Um, Possibly. But I, I liked Visey for that UNIT leave. I think it was a stronger leave. But then but then I'm not Lewis and Lewis is a Lewis is a stronger player than I am, so he I would trust him to know what he's doing. Um Lewis could play Vive from five C um to get rid of those V's. It would leave him with two N's still though. Um in terms of scoring heavily, he could play, could be looking to play into that bottom left hand corner. Um, he could play Pian down there, but I would still leave him with two V's. Um, he would score 38 with Pian. Oh, Viva for 28 at uh, 12A is a possibility. Still lose two ends though. Um, Pavin for 25 is a possibility. Pavin, Pavin, M7 uh, or 2F. Um, I, those Vs are going to cause problems. I think I think Viva for 28 at 12A might be best. P and scores more, um, but those Vs are going to be a problem. So, 
Lewis is 83 points behind. He's played Pavin across the top there, 2F. And he also has got a, an interesting rack here. Uh, very sort of, he's got the J, he's got the, the, he's got a G, he's got a C, he's got an F. Um, he's he's close to Opkefok if he has two letters difference, uh, or, or maybe even three letters difference. But that's that. Uh, but I'm thinking he will be looking to get rid of some of this clunky stuff. Um, I'm looking at the J from 12A, and I'm not seeing anything yet. Perhaps Feiss from uh, 12A. He could play from E3 down. Uh, my pronunciation is going to be awful on this. Hefe, J-E-F-E. That would be 42. Uh, Jog scores 44 at A13, I'm just seeing. Playing into that triple in the corner, which would take out a bonus lane. Uh, quite a powerful bonus lane. Putting an S on the end of exactions. And there are four S's unseen. So I wonder if uh, Piotr will think slightly defensively and, and play into that corner with J-O-G. Um, J-E-F-E is good at, at E3. I think in, if I, I think if I was in this position, I might be tempted by J-O-G for 44. It's the highest scoring play. It's putting him over 100 ahead, and it is probably taking out the most dangerous bonus spot on the board. And it looks like J-O-G is the play. Lewis's rack is far from bonus. A lot of nice tiles still to come here. Um... VAW from E3 down looks a possible play for Lewis here. Um, that would be 30. It would get rid of some dodgy tiles. Um, that, that looks that looks quite good to me. Looks oh, unwired for 24 is a possibility. In the meantime, uh, Piotta is now holding N faced on his rack. Um, oh, lots of plays that might work for Lewis here. Joe Jawari uh, putting W A R I on the end of J O. And I'm hearing the rattling of a bag. Something's been played. It looks like he's gone for that VAW. Um, which doesn't seem unreasonable. Piazza may have what we call what we call a homeless bonus, as there's nowhere to play it, unless I'm missing something, um, which is entirely possible. He's got a, he's got a seven on his rack. He's got N faced on his rack. Um, I'm not seeing a spot for it. He could play feed for 44 at C12. He could play reface for 45 at H10. Uh, that would be that would open the board a bit. He's played feed for 44. Piotr has been able to score on every turn here, apart from that OE move. His first two moves were quite low scoring. He has had two bonuses and three 40 plus moves since then. That's hard to keep up with. Lewis has got at least one bonus uh, on that rack that I can see. It's where, he, where is he going to play? He's got routine that I, I can see. He's probably got something with that D at the bottom. He could play duration from that D at the bottom. He could also play rain out. I'm um, just, just spotted at um, 
M7 down using that orbit hook orbiter. Touring for 79 and Tor Yalin for 79. Looking at Quackle now. Duration and rain out. Uh, oh, rain out plays at the top as well. So, yeah, he's got options here. He should play a bonus. He has played a bonus. He's played rain out at 1A across. I'm just going to confirm whether there's a bonus on Piotr's rack or not. No, there isn't. Um, and this is quite a clunky rack for Piotr. He's... I'm still still looking at this orbit position. Um, he could play Cam there. Could get rid of his C and his M. He, not that he would necessarily want to get rid of those. Um, he needs to he needs to play constants here though. He does need to try and balance his rack up a bit. Um, I'm looking at the AR from. 4e and seeing if he's got some sort of play through there um not necessarily a bonus play through there but, but a play through there that will score and use some tiles he could play down he could play down from uh, d4 and play something like mac for 30 he's he's still 40 ahead so the extra 30 would put him a bonus clear. So, yeah, looking at some choices on um, Quackle here, Mac and Cam. 30 points. Rectal coming down from H10. Yeah. He... So you could play Rectal from H H10. Um, and another 33 points at this at this stage would would be a a pain somewhere for his for his opponent. Um, a mantle for 32 at d4. So no bonus on this rack for Piotr. He's gonna he's got 30 point plays. He's having a good think about this. Um, the game is suddenly a lot closer than it was a minute ago after after Lewis's uh, rain out. So it's one of those times we're in a bit of a lull here. So I'm uh, the thoughts are turning to to lunch. Um, the last game on before dinner last night played fairly quickly, so presumably there was a good dinner menu. Um, but these two are playing a lot slower, so perhaps perhaps the lunch menu today is not looking as inviting. Um, D4 down cell is the play, um, keeping M-A-N-T. Uh, Lewis here has another bonus, I think. Um, I think agonizes. I'm going to check it. Agonizes, easings, seizing. Um, he's got orbit to hook on. It's one of those I'd probably play quite confidently. Agonizes, but uh. I'm checking everything today after after making a couple of errors yesterday with, with saying things were words when they weren't. Um, seizing plays it from from U from UN as well. 
you can he can put the S on the end of UN and he he will then get the A on the end of orbiter for seizing. That that does leave it above uh, a double word, and I'm not sure whether seizing takes an S or not. It doesn't, so he would be safe with that. So he's got some. He's got a couple of seventy-eight point plays there, which would really, which would actually put him in the lead. A lot of thought going into this one. Seizing is going down on the end of orbit. Piotr is looking at the word as if he's unsure, according to, to a note I'm getting here. But it's been accepted. So... This has been this has been good from Lewis. He was a long way behind here. He, when your opponent is has scored three hundred and thirty, there was a spell there where Piotta scored three hundred and seven in five moves, um, and Lewis has still managed to come back to lead in this game. Um, Piazza must be feeling a bit deflated at the moment, I would, I would think, after having done all that heavy scoring. Um, I'm looking for options here, but I'm not seeing a lot. Um, e, 10 down, cam. Um, you might want to get rid of a few more consonants than that. Um, Panga at 14 J scores 28 it makes the board very volatile um, looks like we're getting some quack choices calf for 32 yeah at um, at 10 or cantha k-a-n-t-h-a for 32 in that spot um, calf might be able to, he also kept that M-A-N-T lead before. Um, you might think about keeping that again. P-E-H for 25 at 7-A. Keeping Manta. There's only one A to come, so you'd be, un you'd be unfortunate to, to pick it. Although the bag is, uh, the bag is low now. They're getting we're getting through the tiles now. Um, it just needs an E for path name, I think. Path name is good now. But unfortunately, there isn't an E available. Yes, path name is, is good, but no E available. So Lewis has got tiles that he can score with on his rack as well. He won't be, don't think he'll be getting a bonus. Um, so the play's been made, it is CAF for 32 and that's pretty good. Um, and Piotr's picked an S, Lewis has an S. Piotr's rack is looking pretty good now. Um, I'm going to have a think about what Lewis is doing in a minute, but I'm uh, looking at the possibilities from Piotr's rack first. Yeah, um, Piotr has bonuses that play in a, in, a, in a number of places here. He's got 
mainist across the top. Um, he, he also had mantis across the top. Um, he can play something like steaming uh, down at the bottom using the G. He can't use the D because that's medians and tides men. Uh, but Lewis now is uh, having fought his way back into this game. He, he's going to be in some trouble, I think, because um, he can't block everywhere. Um, he's going to have to keep a good rack himself. He, he doesn't know what Piotta's got. Um, he's going to have to score something. Probably probably his best play here is going to be to get rid of HEY somewhere. going to need to bonus out in this game he's got the possibility of of yeh from 7a which jessica's pointing out using quackle there um which would be 27 i think um which would put him ahead piotta will then bonus he's got hedgy for 42 which would leave set or sheety for 45 of those i would prefer hedgy um it does mean he would need quite a precise bonus uh, down the bottom because Piotta would then play his bonus at the top. Of course, important to emphasise, we know this, but Lewis doesn't know this. Lewis does not know that Piotta's sitting there with a bonus on his rack. Um, he will be thinking about scoring, but he will also have the idea that he, he's got tiles that, that he might bonus with. I find when I'm playing, a, a bonus is never very far from my mind. I'm, I'm always thinking, what can I keep here that is going to gonna give me a bonus next time? But of course, in the meantime, it's import, important to score. Um, that looks like Hedgy has been played. Uh, Piotta will probably bonus here. I'm getting ahead of myself again. Uh, Pios, I'm going to have a look at what Lewis can do with what he's got. Mantis or Mainist will score for, for 90 for Piotta, which is going to put him well ahead. And I'm not sure Lewis is going to have any answer to those. Yeah, there is the possibility that Piotta is going to be worried about Lewis bon bonusing out. Um, but with the rack that we know that Lewis has, I've just seen an uh-oh on my screen. Piotta is going for, looks like Piotta might be going for inmates and seizings which will not be correct. So Lewis has, to, Lewis has to challenge this off because he's got no bonus. Um, he may hold and have a think about it. He may, we have the benefit of, of Quackle, we have the benefit of Ziziva to find out what the plays are. Uh, oh. Inmates looks to be challenged off. Now, the thing is, Piotta's still got a good chance here um, because he still has bonuses at the top. He's got... And he's got bonuses at the bottom as well. He's got two... He's got two spots. Um, that's, all, that, that, that's almost... Yeah, he's still got two spots. He's got to hope that Lewis can't pick up a bonus next time. Lewis has got no bonus here. So Lewis has got to fish for a bonus. Um, he will know what's in the bag, as Jessica's pointing out. Um, so what is in the bag? It's not great bag, is it? It's RGB. I think the bag is RGB. Um, and Jessica's just, Jessica's just put a note to that effect as well that the bag is RGB. Um, uh, 
looking up, trying to look at options here. Um, Yeah, this is a difficult one. If he plays two tiles, he could he could pick out something like if he plays MU, he could pick out something like Boaster um, or Garotts is another possibility. Um, if he if he plays the MU off, he's he's going to. Pick a bonus if he picks BR. He will also pick a bonus if he picks GR. If he can play MU off and score with it somewhere. Um, Garotz or Boaster will both play at the top. They'll both play at the bottom. He also has toe rags and something else that's not coming to mind with that. They're at, he could play MUD. From L12 down, storage and orgy apps are the other two Jessica's pointing out. Um, so really, if he plays MU, that will lose him the game, potentially, is if he picks the B and the G out. Just having a think, is there anything with that? So, there may be a cleverer play than that. Lewis is probably taking a lot of time to work this out. It's taking me a lot of time to try and work this out. Um, Just going to check the Twitch feed to see if anyone spotted anything, anything more clever than, anything clever than that. Um, he's got to play off. Um, playing off MU looks reasonable. Um, it's a two in three chance of winning. If there's anything better. Yeah, if he plays off MU, he has bonuses in two spots. If he picks those, if he if he picks anything other than the B and the G. Um, I'm hearing a rattling bag, maybe. Perhaps not. Play of UM into the corner. I'm, I'm getting the, uh, I'm getting the lovely uh, rainwater effect on the. On, we've had a few technical problems. I'm getting the, uh, the effect of looking at the board through a, through a pane of glass with, with covered in raindrops at the moment. Um, but I think that's UM into the into the bottom right hand corner from Lewis. Uh, I'm sure the the resol I'm sure my, my my screen will resolve itself in a minute. It is swimming back into focus gradually, I think, and he I think he's got the pickup that he didn't want. Well, that is unfortunate. It looks as though Lewis has picked up the the one in three chance that doesn't make a bonus. Uh, inmates is down from Piotta. Piotta's been quite fortunate to win this game, um, having played a phony. Um, and then Lewis had a two in three chance of winning with that play of, of UM into the bottom corner. Um, and he's got no win now.
just checking that Piotr has multiple outplays, which he does. Um, yeah, so the odds the odds there were were in Lewis's favour. Um, he, he had a two in three chance of getting the pickup that would win the game, and he's. Um, it's funny how we've seen we've seen some players come up and not have a lot of luck on these stream games, and Lewis has been one of them. Phil Robertshaw was not having a good time either. He did have one good game that I remember. Um, so your luck can change. Yeah, Lewis. Lewis has been quite unlucky here. A note from notes from Jessica saying that, that Lewis doesn't look too happy. So that is Scrabble. That is the sort of thing that can happen. Um, you, you can do exact. You can do absolutely the right thing and lose. You can do the wrong thing and win. Um, I've had some experience of that myself this week. Um, I've, I've had a few games where I've made mistakes and won. I've had games where I've made mistakes and lost. I've had games where my opponents have made mistakes and won. Um, and I've had opponents, games where my opponents have made made last minute mistakes to, to hand me the the game. It's um, it, it's it can be a it can be a roller coaster. One minute you're you're flying and doing well and nothing seems like I can go wrong. The next minute everything goes wrong. Um, this is Lewis's third game on the stream and he's, he's lost all three now. This one's very unfortunate. Um, the previous one I comment commentated on, he um, he had a, a, absolutely nothing. He had, he had, he had no chance. Um, He, I expect Lewis is just looking around to see if there is any chance he can score enough here to win this. I, I, I just there, there's no chance. Well, we have the uh, we have the uh, the possible plays in front of us, and the highest scoring looks to be gazes for 32 um, from M1 down. And that still leaves OBT on the rack as well. Um, so it's going to be very tight at the top at the BMSC going into the last three rounds after lunch. I'm getting a blank screen on the Twitch feed at present. So it goes to 32, looks as if it's gone down. And Ewer for seven would be uh, Piotr's best play at 5D. It looks like he's played run. Um, Piotr wins. Just waiting for these final scores, which will be slightly different from what Quackle is showing. Piotr, four, eight, three. And Lewis will have... Four five four, I think, by the by that reckoning. But let's just see. Yes, four five four to Lewis.
you, you block you, gain less for 90 odd. It's, uh, hmm. I didn't think you'd leave it because that was probably the best place to score anyway, or around the K. I had a uh, Mant with that. I was thinking. M A N T. Yes. Mm. You'd think you'd going up I was thinking, I, I couldn't see a six letter. Right. There wasn't one. And blocking there was just not scoring enough, so. You didn't see Mantis or um, Manus on the top thing? I, I did, and I was just 100% convinced of seizing. There it is. Mm. Which know. isn't. It's the other seasons with an I. Mm. But that was just incredibly lucky, but. You dodged a massive bullet because Lewis didn't have a bonus on his penultimate rack. So if you'd have bonus, well, I wouldn't have played it. I, could, I can't play it even if I've got one. I can't play a bonus there because when I bonus out, yeah, you win. No, you by pure phoning, you just played um, which was probably the best. I thought you were gonna like, play more. It, it, it what would, did you have? It wouldn't matter if, I, I, if I it wouldn't matter um, creating another A-O-S, item. A E O S T. So B R or G R went and course I was BG. Yeah, I think U M actually was the best fish. I'm not sure whether something like mud would have been any better. Just just yeah. because it create if you Where? pick well just here. Because then um picking B R gives you boaters for more points. Yeah. But it also gives yeah, you, you more to points. Keep that open yeah, for trying to get everything open. Well, you would have had bonuses. I know, I know. Anyway, it's, it's, funny. it's just horrible luck in the end. Can I have one game on the TV board and get some no, more? No, I'm missing a rack, so I have to go hunting for a rack because somebody has stolen one of my racks, which is hilarious because this board hasn't left the room at all. 29, is it? Yeah. And what game? I couldn't believe the S's. You didn't have the S's. Like that's why I played Jog instead of. No, I, I absolutely garbage. Because I, I was going to play J J G F J E F E there for the same amount of points, but obviously not risking you getting forty back. When I, when I played Pave and I kept N B. Right. When I drew U W. Played Vor keeping Ruin and got the blank. But I could I, I could have played P I A N and kept N V V, but I didn't know what to do. But I just Oh, right. <coughs> yeah, I need another Can you hear me at the moment, Jessica? I only ever saw one there when I was playing earlier. Okay. Okay, maybe, maybe it's at home. Maybe, maybe it is at home, I just don't know where it is. It's not in my set, which is weird. But I've got six racks, it doesn't matter. I don't know, I think those blue racks were left over from some tournament last year as well. I'm not going to say anything, but those look like they're left over from previous years. Those are left over from previous years. Yeah, I mean, where'd you find it? It's been in my bag. Oh, you, you, you stole it, did you? Typical, no, typical dad. Today. Typical dad. Not today, it's been in my bag for weeks, months, months. Oh, okay. It's a spare one, so. It was my rack. Oh, so there we go. So you can have that one. Thank you for giving me my rack back. Anyway. I don't think mine might be yours, mine might be yours. I don't know. It is mine. Because I don't have mine. Okay. That must be it then. I don't know where I've got it. Okay. Anyway, Callum, let's, uh, let's get back to talking about that game. Yeah, okay. I mean, wow. Piotr really dodged a bullet in that. Really, really dodged a bullet. Yeah, at the end, he... he I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, this is... I, I'm not sure if it's pressure. Um, but we, we... Scramble players, myself very, very much included, sometimes do, do, do silly things at crucial moments. And he, he had plays... Um, that he could, that he could um, score a lot of points on that move, and he played a phony. Um, mm -hmm. um, and at the, at the point he played that phony, I think he would have won the game if he played a valid word. 
Yeah, I think what he was trying to do there, though, was try to outrun one of Lewis's bonuses. I think he was just so afraid that Lewis was going to bonus back and win that he tried to squeeze out some more points to outrun it. And yeah, in, the end, in the end, it, it almost backfired on him. Yeah, that, that is a possibility. It is a possibility he was trying to score so much that he could score Lewis out of the game. But I'm not sure, could he have done that anyway? Would it, is it, was that possible? Um, um, I wouldn't have been sure that it was because because Lewis could have bonus with the O and the A in the second position with quite a lot of words that were suggested anyway. Um, you know, yeah. a, a long uh, row one. So I, I think any bonus there would score too much unless it was all one pointers. And I'm not sure that um, that the an all one point bonus is there. I mean, the lowest scoring bonus would be yeah. something like toe rags, I, I, which is uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-seven, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-five, eighty-five. And Piotr would need to score. Piotr wouldn't be able to score enough to outrun it. No, no, it. It's one of those things. I, it's um, it's one of those things that if I could learn to do anything in Scrabble, it would be the thing I would learn to do, not to make those crucial errors at the mm -hmm. crucial moments. Uh, yeah. it, it, you can you can learn all the words you like. You can learn all the strategy you like. And sometimes you, you can you can just to have that clarity of thought under pressure is is so difficult to achieve sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Lewis was very unlucky there with his pick up at the end. Mm -hmm. he, had, he had two in three times of winning. Hang on, I'm going to turn, turn the external mic on again. Okay. You know, when, when you just think of one, Yeah. And those times when you just go with a gut, like, yeah, I thought of it, it's got to be a word. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was right, seizings is a word, it makes sense, it's just not, not that seizing. <laughs> yeah, different seizing, seizing with an I. But yeah, I mean... A load of words come into my head all the time, and I doubt myself so much, yeah. and then I find out they're all valid, and then yeah. I realise that I'm just an idiot. That, that's how it goes, you just have to just play, play, play them, if they come into your mind, play them. Unless you're okay, are we breaking for lunch now? Somehow talk yourself out of it, but then it's usually a word anyways. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yourself. I'm sure what you were trying to do there was try to outrun well, one I, of Lewis's bonuses. Yeah, because I figured he's bonusing, so I'm going to be, what, 100 and... Mm -hmm. 11 ahead. That wouldn't be... It still wasn't enough, was it? You wouldn't have been 100 in 11 ahead, because you, you, you were about... Well, well, it was four... It, it should have go. been um, 3, was, 8, 9, 4, 10. Yeah, so I was 21 behind, right. So yeah, I bonus so, for 100. So you'd only be 80 ahead, and if Lewis could bonus, he'd bonus along the, the top yeah, row. That's, that scores 80 over. anyway, and then he gets everything that's left on your rack, which is, so which is three letters. And in all likelihood, it's going to be like an M or a B or a G anyway, so it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been enough, even yeah. with those extra points. I, I'm not sure whether the best attempt was just to play your bonus and hope Lewis didn't have one, or, or just play yeah, yeah, like we're... maybe two tiles and then Lewis well, has in... to go. Like I'm not, I'm, yeah, like I'm end, never I that good at end games. Lucky, like, three turns in a row. But... Yeah. I'm not that good at endgames to know whether playing off two tiles is slightly better than actually playing the bonus. I wouldn't think it is. I would always think the bonus is best because you... Well, that would be really interesting if I like played me or something, keeping tains, mm. leaving one in the bag and having three... Yeah, it would have still been BRG in the bag. Anyway, BRG would still be in the bag. But you wouldn't True. know that, Lewis only knew that because you phoned. But the thing was, because you phoned, you also gave Lewis the advantage of knowing that there were tiles in the bag that he could win with. Yeah, exactly. No, that was just horrible in every way. And, uh... and you dodged a massive bullet. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, sorry about that, Callum. It's, it's always great to have... Um, That's okay. To have people talking um on on the on the on the stream you know to p having people talk about their end games and their decisions and their their horror plays and everything yeah but yeah i think now now yeah. piotr realizes that 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 um trying to he couldn't outrun a bonus if lewis had one 
And the thing is, even though... The thing is, if it, even with the phony, if Lewis had a bonus, he would win anyway, probably. He, he'd probably do, have to yeah. do a lot of maths, but he might win anyway if he had a bonus with his penultimate rack. Yes. Yes, so it was, uh, it, it was, it was one mistake by one player and then, then some bad fortune by another player. And that's how, that's how Scrabble goes sometimes, I suppose. It, yeah. You know, you... Yeah, and, and Lewis has got a horrible offer on stream, and he still has to come on probably. Yeah. And uh, it's it's never good to have to have an offer. No. <laughs> it it's called that in baseball, an offer. Yeah. It's just an O four, something. Usually, usually in baseball, it's like ten, fifteen, twenty, but anything in Scrabble that's like O for three is terrible. And yeah. if you guys can see the standings now on my on the enhanced scoreboard on the window, Lewis is only ahead by twenty nine points of spread. That's it, twenty nine points of spread. And because it is now lunchtime, I will go and grab lunch. I'm sure Callum will do the same, and yeah. we will both meet you back here at ten to two. Right. Okay, yep, I will disconnect for now and I'll be back probably quarter to two. Okay, see you then.